Now to the shutdown of the I-40 bridge. Three days ago, inspectors found an alarming crack and there's still no real timeline for when cars and trucks can cross it again, not to mention when boats and barges on the Mississippi can move under it again because they're blocked from passing under it due to its dangerous crack. A barge companies worried the delivery delays could end up costing everyone more money. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live along the river in downtown Memphis for us tonight. Uh, Brad, what's the latest? Yeah, Richard, freight traffic will not be allowed to go underneath the I-40 bridge until Arkansas inspectors and the Coast Guard give it the okay to, again, safely go through that bridge. And that's causing a growing traffic jam north and south of Memphis along the Mississippi River. There's really a lot at stake with Memphis, the fourth largest inland port in the United States. When I saw pictures of the, of the crack itself, it's like, this is really major. Ken Groff's worst fears were realized when the Coast Guard indefinitely shut down all Mississippi River boat traffic under the I-40 bridge in Memphis as a precaution. It's a, a key link between north and south, and that's, that's what makes this... Uh, very concerning to us. Groff is with American Commercial Barge Line, based in Indiana, but with a presence in Memphis. When Mississippi River freight screeches to a halt, lost time means lost money. Every single day that that boat sits becomes an unrecoverable expense to us. And the traffic jam of anchored boats near the I-40 bridge is getting worse, nearly doubling Thursday compared to Wednesday, according to the Waterways Council. You just can't make a U-turn. There's nowhere to go. This map on the website Marine Tracker shows those dozens of boats carrying hundreds of barges bunched together on either side of the bridge. We are in really a, a, a supply chain uh almost emergency right now. Dr. Martin Lipinski is a freight expert at the University of Memphis. Since Mississippi River boat cargo carries everything from food to appliance parts, Dr. Lipinski and Groth worry about a negative economic ripple effect. It's going to impact us on a day-to-day -day basis. We have a lot of empties that need to be, you know, brought northbound, reloaded, and so it, it stops everything. And ultimately, I fear our consumers are going to be the ones who pay the most. Now, once Arkansas inspectors and the Coast Guard again give the go-ahead for boats to again be allowed to go underneath the I-40 bridge behind me, it will then be up to the Tennessee Department of Transportation to make traffic repairs for cars and trucks. However, the chief engineer on Wednesday said it's possible that it could take months, not weeks, for trucks and cars to go on some or all of the lanes across that I-40 bridge behind me. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Brent Broders, Local 24 News. Oh, incredible. Thank you, Brent.